Hey guys, Joe DeMarco from the Crazy New York Driver Show. Today we're going to do a complete recap of eBay on location in Las Vegas, June 16th to the 19th, 2015. I'd like to do an explanation first, if I may. In some scenes, there will be a lot of background noise. For an example, this is a perfect scene right here. I couldn't use the original audio track because you just couldn't even hear me talking. So I figured I would record over it and just use the footage so you could see some cool sights. Even this nighttime scene was quite loud. But when we go into the conference room later and I interview some people, there are a few, not that many, but there are a few scenes that may be a little hard to hear, so just please do your best. Remember, I filmed these scenes on location. I was not in my studio, so I had to work with what I had. But all in all, I think I got a pretty good representative as how things went, not only in the show itself, but outside, even in the casino, even at some parties, talking with some friends. And I think this will give you a pretty good idea of how it went. One little funny aspect is the scene you're looking at right now, I had no idea I was filming. The camera was on by accident. But nonetheless, let's go to eBay Radio 2015 and let me show you what I saw. Hey guys, it is Tuesday morning. It's about a quarter to nine. The first day of eBay Radio is about to commence. Later, I'll show you highlights throughout the whole day we spent, people we talked to, and some really good eBay selling concepts. So stick with me. Let's get started. Thank you, Jeremy. Hey, you make the next on this one. Thing with the boys. Yep. How are Jason, you? you want to tell the folks about your new show that's out? Oh, my new show. So it's called Thrifty Business with JNA. Typically, it's going to be on Thursday nights at uh, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. We are live on YouTube. But if you can't watch it that time, it's always going to be on uh, to YouTube to watch at any point after that. Jason, have you ever seen any of my videos? Oh, yeah. And what do you think? Yeah, <laughs> you can be as honest as you want. You are my favorite New Yorker. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jason. Thanks for being a nice, friendly eBayer. Oh, you're welcome, Joe. Good to have And there's have Jason's assistant. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Nothing to say? No. Okay. She, she, she's just my friend now. She helped me out when we were filming season two. Nice. And then she went on to do her own thing, and uh, she's, she's doing good at it. All right, thanks. Thanks, Joe. Rock on, man. Good to see you, everybody. Hey, guys. Joe from the Crazy New York Driver Show. Today is Wednesday, June 17th, 2015, and we are live at eBay Radio in Las Vegas, where it's sunny every day and not raining like I'm usually complaining about. Today, I'm fortunate enough to have a bunch of guests who are a lot more interesting than I am, and we're going to start with them right now. First, I'd like to introduce my good buddy, Mr. Scott Henshaw. Here I am. Hey, everybody. Matt, how cool is this actually be on the Crazy New York Driver Show with Joe? I'm very thankful to have you on, Scott. Well, we've been uh, pretty good friends for a long time, Joe, so that we have. Would you like to tell the people your take on eBay Radio and what we've accomplished and learned so far? Yeah, it's been a pretty fun event. Um, I've actually been to this once before. Um, Boy, it was think, three, four, five years ago. It's kind of hard to remember what happens in Vegas, but uh, I haven't been for about three or four years, so it's nice to be back uh, to hang out with the co uh, community. And um, this is actually the first time, you can't see it, but behind the camera, my uh, wife is uh, with me having a fun. She's a, a pretty uh, uh, robust, not a robust woman, but a robust eBay seller as well. So uh, a lot of people know my history. Um, that uh, we've been uh, selling on eBay together full-time for about five years and, and then off and on uh, for about the past decade, literally. I started on eBay in about 1997, 98. Um, so, you know, as you've probably already learned, you, know, you and I met each other in Philadelphia as well. Yes. Uh, you know, when you get to intermingle with different sellers, um, addressing pain points, uh, good things, bad things, um, just uh, engaging with the community. Um, you know, you learn a lot 
lot of stuff, how to move your uh, business forward, grow. Mm-hmm. Have you noticed? That You've got fantastic hair, by the way. If you've never, you know, you only get to see Joe from the front normally. If you actually look at him from the side, he's actually got some fantastic hair. Yeah, I didn't so, expect that. So I, I think in the future, <laughs> We're on live TV. I think in the future, you need to show show your hair more. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's move and, right and you on. Can, you can edit all this too. Yep. So, you know, this is... All right. What have you learned anything in there that you find more helpful, or something you didn't really know about? Um, I know quite a bit about a lot of the updates coming. Just you know, as you most people know, I, I also do uh, work for PayPal as a, as a corporate role as well as I've done for the past year. So I'm privy to a lot of the real positive changes um, coming up with eBay, but it's really nice to see um, some of the actual eBay employees coming, um, really high caliber. We had a VP of seller experience and uh, it was really nice, comforting you know, as an eBay seller uh, to actually see the big dogs come and actually listen to what people have to say, uh, share. You know, general plan for you know some of the big changes, especially with uh, uh, the seller community. You know, we all know that eBay um, has been uh, very buyer focused. You know, rightfully so, and they will continue to be. You know, they have to keep buyers. It's not buyers for really have no purpose in selling on eBay. Uh, but it is nice to know that there's some really um, tangible plans for uh, eBay to just the fact they actually have a newer department called Seller Experience and, and again the VPs here uh, sharing some of the, the upcoming things, addressing some of the pain points from feedback to extortion, buyer extortion to, to a lot of uh, common, commonly addressed pain points. So would you say it's accurate to say... Does that make any sense? It makes a lot of sense. Would you say it's accurate to say that eBay is listening to the sellers and listening to our pain points? You know, in, in one way, they they always have. You know, I think that it's, it's you know, I'm a seller too. Uh, you know, I'm not, not only am I with the PayPal gig, um, but you know, my wife and I are our feedbacks roughly about twelve thousand nice. on that account. So just you know, uh, feedback with that. My, my father and I also part of our account. Our feedback there is almost ten. So you know, I have thirty thousand feedback just as my own seller. That's a lot. Um, you know, one hundred forty-eight on our other accounts. So, you know, I've done a lot of transactions on, on eBay. Um, They've always listened, but I think a lot of times sellers think they're just going to get the answer, or they're going to get the answer they want to hear. You know, it's a it's a it's a measured it's a measured thing. You know, so the, if 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 they're going to institute a change, it, it may take a couple months for that to roll out. And, and kind of like Jordan said, it doesn't have you know, not every seller gets exactly the, the answer they want to hear. If we all did, the changes would be coming every 15 minutes. Do you see anything on the horizon? that you can speak about? Anything positive? Well, I kind of just did. I mean, the, the biggest thing is, I think, for sellers. <clears throat> for sellers, there is a, a new team at eBay dedicated to just that seller experience. So uh, the fact there's actually a, a group or body just focusing on that singularity, it's going to definitely, they're going to listen more. Um, Tech data, you know. I think you heard a couple things, you know, that they were talking about. You know, they've been bringing sellers into San Jose. Um, I've been to a couple um, different uh, seller summits where I've, I've, I've been in small focus groups where they've taken different levels of sellers and have that interaction. You know, what what are the pain points? What can we do to make it better? Um, I get a, I just get a sense from all that, and you've kind of heard it from the new CEO coming in. Just, just you know nothing I'm leaking out, just general observation. Everything everything keeps the clock ticking sales-wise. It, it keeps eBay in business, it keeps the sellers in business, and there's a real new focus with the new you know, The big changes come in the CEO, right. the split. There's de- a, a definite focus on sales. You know, all, all sellers are selling product. And I, I get a real sense from what I've seen you know, here at this event and, and, and elsewhere that eBay starting to understand more the sellers need to focus on selling in their business and not some of the more, uh, what's the right word, complicated metrics, you know, the DSR system exactly. and, and uh, what am I supposed to do with the return, you know, buyers are spending <clears throat> countless hours just posting in, in community groups, you know, geez, I, I took in a return, I'm going to lose $3 and it isn't so much the $3 they're worried about, it's the defect. And um, you know, for a buyer to spend 
that much time or, or even make their footprint. You, know, you, you, you take a, such a small problem as three or five dollars. You know, if you're in business and you're that worried about losing three or five dollars and you're going to lose sleep at night, you need to read some basic courses on Business 101 because five or ten bucks is not going to kill you. But what sellers are having to focus on is, well, gee, the, the defect, and they're, and they're putting so much time into that where they could be doing other things like managing their business, listing more product, focusing on sales. And so I'm hoping in the future, or the sense that I'm getting is that that's really the direction eBay's trying to go, is, is to have sellers focus on selling. In other words, don't sweat the small stuff. Don't well, or don't, or don't, no, you don't sweat the small stuff, but don't, don't necessarily feel like you have to put so much damn time into it. You know, it, it, like I said, you know, with community groups, whether it's LinkedIn, Facebook, or whatnot, you'll see a seller worry so much about a defect on a return if it was marked as SNAD or, or, or whatnot. And um, when I talk about the footprint, you know, yeah, they've got a pain point, but they post on Facebook, 25 or 35 other people post on it. You add up all the time that took, that, that's about 15, 20 sellers taking about three hours to talk about this simple defect. And, and now you talk about a defect, and what's the value of that? Well, it's only about 200 bucks in everybody's time. So it's, it's, it's the, the footprint. Right. It's just ridiculous. They should use their time more constructively right? yeah, to sell more stuff. Okay. Anything else you want to say to sum it up? No, just we have David Rayer in the group, and I got Mark Ziegler, another uh, flatware seller that uh, respects the uh, companies. Okay. Uh, Thank you for being on. Robin Levine. I wish you all the best in sales. She's be here in just a minute. Yes. Okay. Well, thanks for having me on the show, and I'll probably come back. I'm thanks. Tell a couple of jokes. Thanks. Just so you know, it took me five hours to fly out here. Yeah, yeah it only took me a couple of still not. I still haven't quite acclimated to the West Coast time. All right, so let's bring the next victim on. Who's up? Mark Ziegler. How are you doing? Good to see you. Nice guys. to see you. Thanks for stopping yeah, on thanks the show. Thanks for having me on the show. I appreciate it. Not a problem. What would you like to tell the viewers firstly? What have you taken away from this eBay radio 2015? Basically, I'm, I'm seeing eBay as being concerned about being in competition with the other people. And that they care enough that they want to get our product out there to the people who are, are, who are, are buyers, who are looking for a certain item. So when you type in uh, a Canon camera, for example, you get the right Canon camera and not Canon camera and all the accessories and things that go with it. eBay, I think, is really trying to narrow down what you want and get it right to you so you don't have to go through 800 listings as opposed to maybe seven or eight that you want, stuff that you really want. Mm -hmm. I notice sometimes when I would type in hubcaps, which is what I sell, right. I look at one of my items, I would type in Ford hubcaps, I would get related items on eBay that were from China sellers that were a lot cheaper. So I found out the way around that was just to opt out of the cross promotions option and that, that took care of it. My sales have gone up. Yeah, I, w I would love for people to be able to type in a certain type of flatware in there I'll come up right there and not and not have let's say the flatware name was Rembrandt and not have a bunch of Rembrandt pictures coming up. I want right, them right. to see Rembrandt flatware and maybe Oneida whoever makes that, you know. I've noticed that myself, even in my line, I'll type in hubcaps and I'll get wheel hubs, the bearings right showing up. Which has nothing to do with a hubcap. By by seeing what, what eBay's showing me here is they're trying to filter it down to what the buyer really wants. And I like that. That's what like Rick was saying that. earlier. Absolutely. You know, I think they're onto something. I do too. I think this is gonna work. Yep. And, I, and it can only help us. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. This is gonna be great. Nice. Any last words you'd like to say to the people? Um, you guys gotta come out here once, at least once in your lifetime if you're a seller. Come on out here and learn some stuff. It's really interesting. And you can meet some really neat people. Where are you from? I'm from Detroit. Detroit, Michigan. Detroit, Michigan. Ah. Detroit. There you go. Detroit. Home of Verners. Okay. <laughs> and the Tigers, Lions, and the Wings. There you go. There you go. Thank well, you. thanks for being on, big guy. Thank you. See you again. Okay, next we have the lovely Robin. Love it. Come right on up. Hi there, Joe. Hi. This is Robin. She's also a seller here on eBay. <laughs> We've got a large fan base for one. What would you like to say to the folks today regarding eBay? I really am impressed with the way that they've been reaching out to the sellers and listening and 
really working hard to implement the changes that we've been asking for. And when they can't implement them, they're seeing what they can do to make the system work for everybody in an integrated way. I was impressed myself, as I said. Did you happen to hear anything or learn anything that you think is much more important that will affect you in a positive way? Yes, there's things that I really am excited about is that they're looking for ways to make sure we're able to learn about all the changes that are happening so that when we go to make a listing or to buy an item, it won't be an arduous process. It's going to be something that we understand, we know how to do it, we can get education. I'm excited for that to be on the forefront. I'm very happy that eBay thinks enough of us sellers that to schedule these events. You don't see this with that A place, Absolutely. right? Or no. the E place or any of them. Uh, Only eBay will care about the sellers to host these events. Absolutely, and it, it, we have our own family here at exactly. these events that I look forward to seeing every year. Everybody I met in here, 300 people, everyone was friendly and cordial, right? Cordial and they want to help each other. Everybody's here to listen and to, to grow their business. Exactly. Would you like to tell the folks that you have any luck in the casino downstairs? Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> no luck in the casino, but my favorite game is Alice in Wonderland. I have had a little I did win $100. I lost it. Okay. Okay. Any last words? Um, one last thing I'd like everyone to know out there, because this is a great place to tell everyone, is one of the things that we all have at our fingertips and a lot of people don't know in our communities is the meetup groups. I run a meetup group in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, the New England eBay meetup group. I hope you don't mind me doing a little plug for it. But That's what I'm here for. If you want to go to meetup.com, you know, I have this meetup group every four weeks we meet. I have great guest speakers and we're there to help each other to learn and grow our businesses. So I, I hope you all come in. It's sort of my way to bring these big events to our small town. So I hope to see you there. Excellent. Thanks, Thanks for being on the show. You're welcome anytime. Okay, guys. Next guest is Mr. David Rayer. I'm sure many of you will recognize the gentleman. How you doing, He's John? been on the show in the past. Hi. This is the man who was more instrumental than anyone into getting me on the global shipping program. Any regrets? None whatsoever. My only regret was that I didn't listen to him sooner. Good. Well, good. I'm done. Now we got to get you shipping on your own as well, using a mix of both. Well, I do that with Canada. Oh, so you're doing Canada on your own? Yes. And how's that going? So far, so good. Awesome. No complaints. Awesome. And we, there's some other countries that I'm sure you can do very well yes. shipping on your own. I might just have to enter that foray. Cool. Very cool. What do you think about eBay Radio this year? Uh, this is my second year in a row. I was here last year. Uh, it's always a great conference. Uh, my favorite part of the conference, um, besides all of the great information that's always shared, is um, the networking. I just love networking with all of the people here. There is so much experience in this room with 300 sellers that we can all learn from. and. I just think it's important. So when you go to, whether it be a meetup or, or, or an on location or anything else with other sellers, there's always something to learn, always something to share. Exactly. Did you learn anything today that really, really makes you think that sale are going to go way up? Maybe search will go? Well, I think that I think that they have a much longer term goal here. I think they have a goal to build up, uh, as Scott said, they want to get us back down to selling, just selling and not worrying about so many of the other things that, that the sellers all worry about. And I also noticed that when Jordan was up, that he did address uh, ha you know, that issue that you talk about a lot with having your stores turned on and having your stores turned off and right. whatnot. And he pretty much assured us that that does not happen. Okay, so it's like an urban myth? Yeah, you know, it's, it's an urban myth. He, he didn't. He didn't use those words, but yeah, that's pretty pretty much what I'm getting from it. You know, it's you, you have an item, you have hubcaps that sell, and one day you have a lot of people looking for hubcaps, and the next day they're looking. People are looking for something else, and you might not have any sales that day. I've noticed that. Right, and and so do you attribute it to to having your your search turn on or turn off, or do you attribute it to just a buying pattern? You know, early on, I thought that there was such a thing as rolling blackouts, mm -hmm. but it did make sense. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you sell nine items in one day, and the next day nothing? I have the same thing. Yeah. I mean, all sellers experience, and I don't, 
attribute that to being turned on or turned off. I never find that I have any trouble finding my items in search. Well, I kind of agree with you in some ways because I notice on holidays when people are out and celebrating, sales are always <laughs> terrible. Sure. You know, I've noticed sure. that just recently on Memorial Day. What a killer day that was. It was horrible. Well, what are people buying during the holidays? They're buying stuff for their families. They're not buying stuff to fix up their car with. Uh, have no auto parts on the, on the holidays. Absolutely. So there's patterns, and it's for you, a good key would be to find the pattern when the best time for you to sell your items are. Mm -hmm. Basically, any day is a good day, as long as it's not a holiday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's it. David. Thanks for being on the show. It's a pleasure. Anytime. Well, let's do it. Let's do a couple more takes with me, Rob. You want to hold the camera? <laughs> no, I'm okay, uh, Scott. Just so you can edit a couple things if you need to take right. like the baseball stuff. So, so right. We'll, if you we'll, want, let's just do a couple takes. But Robin can hold the camera. No, I'm okay. You want me to introduce you again? Sure, if you want. <laughs> okay. Scott Cheese. Let's see now. <laughs> okay. My next we, don't ramble like, we don't ramble like Scott. Yeah, I'm going to try to not ramble as much. <laughs> but you, you came out good. All right, we'll do a couple more. Okay. I would now like to bring Scott Henshaw onto the set. <laughs> he has quite a few things he'd like to say to you guys. Thanks, Scott, for hey, coming on. Actually, it's really cool to be on the uh, Hubcap Joe Crazy New York Driver. So I, I've done one of your shows when your mother passed away, which is quite sad. And, uh, but it's actually nice to actually meet you once again and actually be on the show. Thank you. The last time we met was in Philadelphia. Which now I'm on your turf. Out here in Las yeah, Vegas. Yeah. No, I'm from Seattle, actually. You're still closer than me. Yeah. An hour, and a, hour and a half fight. All right. So, what do you think of eBay Radio today? Yeah, it's actually been uh, been really fun. Um, you know, I've learned quite a bit from from some of the eBay speakers. Um, I was really impressed that the uh, the new VP of the seller experience team was here, uh, sharing with some of eBay's strategy for uh, improving upon you know the seller platform. It's nice to hear that they have a road, you know, long-term roadmap for improving the seller experience. Exactly. It's good that they'll send their workers out to meet with us one-on-one. -on -one, yeah, yeah. Unlike other forums, which wouldn't do that. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's been sad that uh, the past year or two they haven't had the eBay on locations. Normally they would do those twice a year, um, but uh, uh, the eBay radio continues every year. And it seems to get bigger every year. I haven't been in a couple. So this is a pretty good turnout compared to when I was here a few years back. Right, this is my first time out here. Because it's a long flight, and you know I am not going to fly. <laughs> you know, just the time difference alone is killer. Yeah, yeah, but I've never been back to that coast, but I've been here to Philly. Can you yeah. say rough landing? Yeah, it was rough landing. <laughs> is there anything else you'd like to point out that you consider a real high point? Of the summer? Um, you know, it's, it's, it's really great to be able to engage with uh, both the eBay and PayPal staff that come out. Uh, but, but the real uh, um, cherry on the ice cream, whatever the hell that statement is, it's, it's really great to meet other sellers. Um, not only to learn pain points, but what are they doing that's going to be a you know, success. Um, so there's just a lot of, a lot of great sellers here. Um, I learn something just about every time I talk to somebody. Um, but also there's some really good vendors here as well. Um, third party solutions by like the Reply Manager, which, uh, which we actually use on the corporate side. Uh, so it's really nice to engage with uh, Bubble Fast, you know, shipping supplies. So kind of anything eBay related, um, there's something here that you're gonna take away from. And for those of you who've never been to eBay Radio, they have a program called Have Lunch with a Representative. What is the correct terminology? I don't know. Or Network. Lunch with a star. Or networking lunch. Networking, networking lunch. Networking lunch, yeah. Okay. And Scott and I were in the same network today. Yeah, lunch was an hour late. Oh, it was terrible. I wolfed it down and I'm regretting it now. Yeah, that's all right, though. Anything else you'd like to say? No, I can just sit here and talk for hours with Joe, but we can do a couple blooper rolls. If well, you know. I planned this video to be, it's going to be between gonna, one yeah, and two gonna, hours. Gonna, oh, really? No, I thought you'd like edit out a couple things. Oh, I am. Okay. Like the joke about my hair? <laughs> that's actually pretty good. <laughs> Well, maybe I'll leave it in there. Right. So three. Does anybody else want to add anything? Two, two. A couple of us together. Maybe. Come on, come on, come on everybody. You need to add together. something. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna we'll do. We'll 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 have to pay. Uh, so here's uh, here's all the uh, contestants on the prices, right? Awesome. Joe. We all had a real good time this week. <laughs> Joe does a great job with his show, and thank you for everything you're doing. Yeah, you've been around for a while. I think you know Joe's always uh, surprised 
how many people know you? you know, your That's shows, true. Your a lot of people on, walked on up YouTube to me and, here at the show and said, I know who you are. Yeah, you make your yeah. videos on YouTube. I'm a shop. And, mm -hmm. and I want to say that, you know, I, everybody that's here in this group, I, I've had the pleasure of meeting before, and it's even a bit bigger pleasure uh, spending time with them again. I totally we paid David. David. We actually paid David twenty dollars to say that. It was yeah. money well spent. I've actually never met any of these people in my life before. <laughs> what am I here for? Yeah. Right. Who am I? Why am I here? After you drank that drink, you lost your memory. Like, well, and I'm officially a new. Refed. Refed. Hey. Refed. I think you should get a shot of Joe's knees, actually. I don't think you should do that. Well, that'll be getting cut out. So Jim can you know, but otherwise, yeah, but otherwise, it's just a hell of a lot of fun down here, too. I mean, there's really, like, no mean people or anything. Hey, we had a nice evening at the bar last night. Yeah. Uh, everybody networking, meeting at the bar last night. Uh, gambling, we're in Vegas. You can't come to Vegas unless you gamble, so. Did anybody win any money? Anybody? Yeah, I lost, I lost I a little bit, actually. No, no, no. I, I won a little bit. And okay. we can also go outside where it's 110 degrees. But it's sunny out and clear, and not raining like in New Jersey. I actually have to sell the kidneys to get home. <laughs> Charge it, use PayPal. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's it's gift card. All right, anything else? Or is that a wrap? We're good. Okay. Well, I've got plenty of other things to do. Did nothing wrong. Manager. I'm sure many of you know who she is because they're always advertising on eBay radio. 
What would you like to say to some of the people that watch these videos every week? Sure. Um, like Joe said, we're Reply Manager and we help online sellers manage all of their incoming email across multiple channels. So if you're selling on eBay and Amazon or your own website, we're pulling all of those messages into one location so you log into one place to go in and look at those messages. And if you have staff members, you can also give them their own username and password, which we get a lot of over the holidays, especially when people are managing their temporary staff and they just want to give them a login for a little while. We automatically organize those emails for you and we give you the tools to respond quickly, like standard replies and autoresponders and being able to do multiple tasks at one time and reporting on how well you're doing to see what your average response times are in various folders. So it can really be a multifaceted tool and our autoresponders really help our customers be able to send responses after hours or on their weekend when they're not available to get to those messages. And is it very affordable? It is. It starts at $49 a month. It is for unlimited users and accounts. So if you've got multiple eBay accounts, 10 users or one user, you're only paying for the amount of space that you're using. And most companies are charging you per seat. So if you're adding on those temporary staff or once you start adding on more, the, that number starts to go up quite a bit. And how will the good people contact you if they're interested? They can go to replymanager.com and take a look around, see if you have any questions. And we do offer a free trial. Uh, we don't ask for a credit card, any information, no contracts. We'll walk you through the whole setup process and get you going. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Thank you, Joe. It was nice meeting you today. Enjoy your day, and we'll see you next year. Absolutely. Rock on. First one for each you guys. We'll be right to answer your problems. You know them. Mm. Have a listen to eBay Radio. They are a sponsor. I know. Like to tell the folks when and where and in what way eBay's 15th anniversary celebrating. So, bubble fast. So when, where, and what event was eBay's 15th anniversary celebrating? I'll give you a hint. Ever since then, it was the same location as the 10th anniversary. If you know the answer, please rush to the mic and say, here we go. You're right, you won. Let me now clear up a few things in case you have some questions. Number one, you'll notice I didn't actually record any of the presenters at eBay Radio 2015 and that's because they have a special copyright that they do not want anybody filming them during the exact presentation but I do believe it's going to be released through eBay sometime in the near future and I will let you know when it is so I just wanted to cover that and you'll notice on some of the various clips that you just saw you're probably wondering why I didn't edit out certain sections that I could have and it's because I just wanted to see, I wanted to show you guys how everybody is so friendly and gets along with each other even when they think the camera is turned off and it's going to be edited out. But I, for one, as all the rest, had a really good time and I look forward to going again. I have some cool video and audio of these neat Bellagio water cannons. The whole show, it's really cool. They launch the show every half an hour, both during the day and at night, and it's something you just have to see. But the problem is, because there's music on the track, there'd be no monetization in the video. So if you guys want to see this video, I'll have to upload it in a special video unto itself. So my question to you guys, do you want me to upload the video of these water cannons with the original soundtrack and the song? that they happen to be playing when I was there is one singular sensation. It's from a Broadway show. But anyway, I will leave you with these water cannons doing their thing. I will be back this Friday, the 26th, with my regular eBay discussion video. I will be back on track, back on schedule. And if you have any questions about this video, put them in the discussion box below, the comment box, and I can attend to them on Friday. Meanwhile, you know what I'm going to say next. I'm Crazy New York Driver, and you're not. Thanks for watching, guys, and rock on.